Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I have already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This plague, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terror strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. Not better than kings. Gods. All right. Welcome, children of the internet. It's Foggy Senor, and we're here on Liberty Island, Unor uh, Unark. The location of the Hunatco Nid Mortars. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Welcome to Let's Play Deus Ex. Let's get into this thing. Let me check something real quick. Okay, good. Good God. I've, I've attempted this recording about ten times now. I'm a little bit... Uh, 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 irritable at the moment, but I'm gonna try and keep that, uh, toned down for the recording here. I'm gonna try not to get real pissed off at this fucking video game and all this goddamn fucking shit and... Ah, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Thank you, Jacobson. I will go find Paul now. I've done it about ten times today. But... Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. The crossbow. Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. With these tranquilizer darts, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Okay. 
Let me check my inventory here. Yes, everything looks good. Yes, the image is there this time. This is the thing that fucked up my last recording. For whatever reason, all of my starting inventory was duplicated and I didn't have the damned map of the island, which I wanted to show you guys. So we do get a map. We're here at the South Dock. We've been told that we have uh, an informant somewhere on the North Dock with a key who can help us out. Uh, but the terrorists are operating out of the ruins of the uh, Statue of Liberty here. And uh, this is sort of the front zone of that, so I'm going to assume they've got a lot of uh, guards and stuff. So as far as getting to the North Dock from here, it's probably better to go around the back like that. Um, yeah, this is the game. We're getting into it now. It, uh, the, the, the thing that I love the most about this is just uh, the, the freedom and the way it's basically all driven by you. It, it, they give you goals, they tell you what needs to be done, and then they, and then they let you off the leash to go take care of it. And it's basically up to you how you, how you go about it. Um, and you can get pretty creative. You can get pretty creative with how you handle some of these situations. Um, so Paul tells us that we, um, the NSF have hit one of our shipments, uh, and got away, or some of them got away. They've taken Agent Herman hostage, and they believe he's being held on the ground floor. Uh, so that's one of our secondary objectives here is to uh, deal with that and also meet up with uh, informant Harley Philbin. Um, and then the primary objective, he says, is the command center, which uh, is at the top of the statue. So Agent Herman down at the bottom, command center at the top, Harley Philbin at the docks. And we've got a nice map in case we get lost. You just gonna stay here? There's been some activity at sea. I'm going to watch the coast. Why'd they bring you back to New York? I don't know what they have planned. I messed up an assassination attempt on one of the triad leaders in Hong Kong. Unatco pulled you out? It's a long story. You better head to the statue. What? You can't tell me something like that and expect me to just... Which triad was Unatco targeting? We'll talk about that later. How was your graduation? I want to hear what happened. I wish I could have come. At the time, I could have cared less that Mom and Dad came to mind, but it was a good thing. The UN threw a dinner in honor of me, the first nano-augmented agent. I didn't know that. Guess I must be old news. Dad made a toast. I don't know if you remember his old brown suit. A toast? That doesn't sound like our father. It was hard for him in front of the diplomats, but he savored every moment. Strange how proud he could be when so much was due to... our augmentations. Yes, he was proud. I believe that much. <laughs> It was nice to have done something for him and Mom. I wish someone could have been there for you. I'm used to being on my own. One can be too self-sufficient, I'm coming to believe. That's interesting, Paul. That's real interesting. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's, uh, explore further up the dock here. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the north dock can get you inside... Alright, Jacobson's got, uh, basically the same information that Paul told us, so I'm not sure exactly what the point of that is. Uh... But we've picked up a baton there, and, uh, this baton is gonna end up being our, uh, our main method of knocking dudes out. We've got the charger, the riot prod, with the charger rounds, but, uh... You don't get a whole lot of these as far as uh, ammo in the game, so you, you, I want to. I try to limit uh, how often I use it. it. It is useful, the charger prod, but uh, uh, or the I don't know what you call it, riot prod. Yeah, I call it the charger prod because that's what it says here. But charger is just the prod charger ammo. 
but they've got it. I hate this thing. It's just call it one thing and make it consistent, please. Um, but yeah, the baton will be our um, our main way to knock knock some heads. What's your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. Well, Gunther sounds like a just a great guy, doesn't he? Just going off the 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 cuff like that. Welcome, gent. Thanks. We just had a conversation, guy. So the baton's also going to serve as our crate smashing uh, weapon. They put a crowbar over here at the beginning of the game, but let me show you. It takes up two inventory slots instead of one, like the baton. And if you look here, its base damage, six, is less than the baton, seven. So why in the world would you ever want this thing? Don't know. Uh, we can talk about the mini crossbow, too. I chose that uh, from Paul there, the choice at the beginning. But I don't plan on using it at all, and I'm probably going to just drop it later. Uh in my office because that feels like the right place to put it but uh this uh, the tranquilizer darts that i would use with this uh mini crossbow are fucking horrible they're not a they're not a silent takedown like paul says they um when you hit somebody with it they they like panic and freak out and run around cuz there's a dart in, in them in their neck or whatever and they try to raise alarms, and they uh, they alert the other guards that are around if, if you're dealing with multiple dudes. So, yeah, tranquilizer darts are fucking... Don't use them. Don't bother. There's better ways to, uh, to, to work it in this game. Like I say, we're probably we're going to stick with the baton. Riot prod we'll use here and there, and then there's some... Other useful shit we'll be picking up and uh, adding to our belt here as we progress, such as multi-tools and bioelectric cells. All good things. We'll, use, we'll put the cells here. We'll put the lockpicks and the multi-tools over here on this end. Thank Thanks, bud, but I th you needn't worry. We have a security bot guarding the, uh, the entrance over here. I think you're good. Speaking of prod chargers, got ammo for that. Darts, regular darts, and uh, 10 millimeter ammo. All right, so now that we've got all that sorted out, let us make a proper save here on the docks of Liberty Island and uh, throw down a quick save as well. One of my recordings got ruined because I forgot to fucking quick save over and over again. So if you want to make a covert approach, fun. remember the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. So Jacobson is, retur is uh, referring to um, the training mission that you can take at the, uh, at the main menu of the game that we didn't do. They do teach you about stealth, and uh, all the stuff that he said applies. You want to stick to... Um, the darker areas of the map. You want to uh, crouch walk if you're close to people so that they don't hear you. You want to, uh, if you have to, aim for the head. And, um, yeah. That's how you be stealthy. That's how you be stealthy. When you need to. This guy's taking a pretty wide path. I'm not sure that I need to knock him out, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to stick him back here with his buddy. 
I do this thing where I hide the bodies in this game because I'm used to stealth games where that matters, but I'm pretty sure that there's no, uh, no mechanics for, um, we got a gas grenade, that's good, we'll be using those. I don't think there's mechanics for that, like, the enemies can't, they don't notice if there's a guy knocked out or dead or whatever, and the cameras don't either, as far as I, uh, far as I remember. I do have a practice file that I'm playing ahead on to make sure we don't run into any bullshit glitches or whatever. Oop! Don't let that guy see. We'll just duck around the crates here. Knock him out. As is our M.O. Unatco agent. I don't hey, I don't want to kill people. I just want to foster peace Ooh. by knocking them out. All right, push this crate up. Get up here. See what's what's in here. Multi tools. I love multi tools. They are good. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the equipment we've got. Well, no, we're about to hear a, a interesting conversation. Let's do that first. That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. Bad? They cut off his arm, replaced half his face. Herman, right? He's a good soldier. Killed three of our men. They'd have replaced his whole body if it would have improved performance. If that's how you judge a man, by performance, then eventually it's not about people, but upgrades, versions, functionality. All I know is we could use a few mechs for ops like this. As soon as we buy into the cult of the machine, we're just like them. Rhetoric. Always more rhetoric. So, what we've uh, heard about just now is uh, something we'll learn about, uh, learn about in more detail later in the game, but uh, Gunther Herman the guy we're rescuing out of the bottom of this statue here, the other UNATCO agent, is, um, he is mechanically augmented while we, uh, and our brother Paul, we are nano-augmented, and, uh, apparently it's better than mechanically augmented. We'll learn about some of the problems that mechanically augmented people have chief among them being that they look goofy as fuck. They're usually not happy about how they look. Ooh. Just take this guy's body and hide it back here somewhere. Have fun. Have a nice nap. Russian. I swear I heard something. Pig. This power box must have been damaged in the raid. Don't cross through the arcs. I'm also picking up an EMP field here. If you're not careful, it'll suck away your bioelectrical energy. Okay, so that wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. But I'm not gonna worry about my leg. I'm just gonna let it be hurt for the mission. And I'm gonna try and be a little more careful from here on out. And also quick save. Quick save often. Quick save. Real saves. If you're playing this game and you've never played it before and you get interested to play it just from, from watching this uh, Let's Play or whatever, uh, that's probably the best advice I could give you. Make sure it's save. Put down real saves, like one or two of them for each mission. And, uh, quick saves. Basically any time you get to do something. Hi, 
I've set up... Brother, I've set up the turrets and cameras in the statue ruins. A hasty defense, but since we won't be here long, it should work. The security computer login is an NSF001. The password is smash the state. Good. I have... I've, I'm trained in computers, so I could hack their... Uh, their security systems if I wanted to, but... I don't have to, because I've got the password now. Fucking... Can we bring that back down, please? Shit, no, I don't want to get crushed by it. Alright. If you don't want to use that forklift to solve this little puzzle of getting past this shit, uh... You can use multi-tools to turn the, the junction box off, or there's crates back there you can stack up to jump over. The forklift's probably the easiest way, though. For me, anyway. So we've picked up, uh, I don't know, some ammo there or something, and then we're picking up, uh, we just picked up a weapon mod for a clip and then one for the uh, laser sight. Extended magazine and laser sight. We will, we're going to hold on to these and use them, but not for either of these weapons, because I'm not going to use them. So, those will just stay in our inventory for a little while. This is one of the other reasons that I didn't take. I might use sniper rifles later in the game for certain, uh, for certain things, but... For now, I'm not going to have one in my inventory, because they kind of take up a lot of space. So I went with the, uh, the Trank gun, because that's just one, one slot in your inventory. Don't want these things on my belt. Hmm. Take note. So once you get close to the north docks here, you're kind of you can rest easy a little bit. There's a security guy, a uh, security bot patrolling. One of the ones that the NSF haven't quite figured out yet. It all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man Harley. F Sounds good, Jacobson. Looks like the NSF have mercenary thugs working for them. Did you know that, Jacobson? I just found it out. Use this information to... I don't know. Better plan the operations. This guy is stupid. He's walking right by his buddy who was just standing there taking a smoke break, but who is now taking a... A nap lying face down. He didn't question it at all. He's smooth. I'll keep on my patrol. Doopty doopty doo. Alright, we got the rockets, we got 30 out 6 ammo. Picked up some trank darts off of this guy. I'm pretty sure this little area is like your 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 inventory, your t tactile reward for coming out here to the docks, other than the key we'll get. Uh, they said, hey, give, put all the, the ammo for the, the weapons you can choose from at the beginning. We'll just put some ammo for it all around these crates. There is a, a, a sunken ship also by the the north docks, and you can get in that hatch there if you've got lock picks. But I'm not gonna do it because I don't. I'm not trained in swimming or lock picking. I'm not even sure what you get down there. I'm not sure what kind of prizes can be found in the sunken ship. Well, here's Harley Philbin, dressed like a bum, and I know it because they've labeled him bum. About time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Password's enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I hey. heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You 
get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander, and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. All right, so we've made contact with, uh, yeah, with Harley Philbin. They've changed his label from bum to real person. Not that bums aren't real people, but... It's, you can't have a conversation with someone if they, if they want to be called bum. At least I couldn't. So we've got that goal knocked out. We need to get into the statue, though. That's gonna be the hard part. Oh, we have a drifter woman as well. You the Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 out 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said, Keep your head down. Huh, <laughs> like I'm gonna take on your NATCO troops. Want them? You can have the clip for 175, the 30 out 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. Okay, so, we're not gonna take any of the ammo that she's offering. No, thanks. But, uh, the information she had for us is pretty good. Uh, she said, try to go in the back way, because, uh, the front's pretty heavily guarded. And that's probably what we're going to be doing. Actually, that's definitely what we're going to be doing. I don't, I'm not sure why I'm pretending like I don't know. So... Yeah, the, the ammo that she offers, it's, I would say it's a waste of credits. All the stuff that she can give you there is stuff that you'll be picking up plenty of throughout the game. And as long as you play smart, uh, it's also stuff that you're not going to be using too much either. Good thinking. You might be able to avoid some of the security by entering this way. Thanks, Jacobson. I thought of this all by myself. So yeah, don't waste your credits on that lady's ammo. There's stuff later in the game that you're definitely going to want credits for. And it get, starts to get fucking expensive, too. So, we climb up the crates and the ladders and junk. We make our way to the top part of the statue. Seems like they got a few guys kind of patrolling around the top, but probably not as many as we would have had to deal with going in the front way. We'll just take cover behind this crate here and wait, uh, try and get a good angle on this guy. Alright, as long as he doesn't turn around toward me. Fuck! Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. I got oh, this one. Damn it! Son of a bitch! Well, there you go. This is why you quick save often. I'll, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to keep, uh, I should just write a big fucking note on a damn index card or something in Sharpie that says quick save so that I fucking remember to do it. Cause God damn, I've already ruined one recording on account of that. I played through most of this fucking level. And then had a stupid thing like that you happen. Might be able to avoid some of the and had to re-record the whole motherfucking thing because I couldn't figure out how to uh, to pause the recording. So I just sat there silent for five minutes trying to figure out how to what to do. I hate this shit. Game works pretty good, man, but when something goes wrong. They just leave it up to you to figure out what the fuck to do about it. Alright. Try and get close to this guy before he fucking turns back around. 
or whatever. Damn. Fucking nonsense. Toss him on the ground. Drop his stupid knife. And we'll throw down another I'm gonna quick save like like a motherfucker. I'm just I've just decided that. That's my new thing. Quick saving all the time for everything. When I when I get by these guys, I'm gonna quick save. As soon as I get up those damn this ramp. Excellent. Excellent work. We've done it. We are the master. We are the master of infiltration and espionage and knocking guys out and uh, manipulating the metaphysical save state. Alright, we're going to put down another save here. That thing you're seeing on the wall is the entire reason that I took uh, one level of training on my demolition skill here. As you can see, uh, when you're trained, grenade accuracy and damage increases slightly, but also uh, you increase the safety margin for disarming proximity devices. And that's what we're looking at on the wall here. This is a gas grenade that somebody has set to uh, blow up when someone comes uh, near it. And uh, normally I think if you're untrained, it basically, basically these just explode like immediately once you get close enough. But with training, you get that little beeping window where you can uh, interact with the mine, disarm it, and then pull it off the wall and use it for yourself as a gas grenade. So... I don't know if I'm going to upgrade demolitions anymore. I will be using explosives. Like, this, I'm not just, I didn't just upgrade that for the proximity mines, but I'm not sure how, if I'm going to train it anymore. Shooting? Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all were right. So why aren't we pulling out? Mike's on the horn. Jojo wants a lead on the distribution network. Yeah, we don't have enough men to protect what we've got. That's what Jojo wants. I wonder, how does a guy with a tattooed forehead get to be an NSF colonel? Pardon me, but back in Alabama, we wouldn't let a man who wears earrings plan a military operation. I'd watch what I say about Jojo. He's got a temper. He's a punk and he's gonna get us all killed. The NSF is strong because it represents everyone's interests. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we've heard a couple of references to a shipment. Uh, the drifter woman that we talked to that runs the boat for Philbin said that she thinks this whole thing is a diversion because they've already got the shipment over to the mainland. And uh, they just mentioned that again. But I, I like this conversation here because it does kind of... It, it explains why there's, like, mercenaries in addition to the, the NSF that we're running into. Apparently... There are people who sympathize, I guess, with the cause, but uh, maybe don't agree with how they run the organization. So they're kind of working with them, but at the same time, they're... They're not entirely a fan of, uh, of the NSF. Fans. Ooh. Knock that guy out. So you could, uh, this was the level we were on a second ago. You could just come in through this door here, but I prefer coming in the top way. I think it's cooler and more Bond-like. That's, that's, that's really what I, everything is geared around when I play this game. How, how do I best embody the the principles of James Bond the 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 getting shit done part of it not all the problematic um, you know stuff with women that's the that's the part of Bond I'm not super 
uh, into. Okay, we're gonna look out, look out onto the the. This looks like the ground floor of the statue. I'm assuming it is because we've got a sort of fountain thing in the middle there. We could use a multi-tool to bypass the surveillance camera. It would make things a little bit easier, but it uh, it turns enough that we don't really have to worry about that. Now, I'm going to crouch. I'm going to drop down here. Good. I don't think anybody's hurt us. I'm going to make my way over this way. Keep an eye out for ways to bypass it. These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels. Thank you, Jacobson. Uh, Jacobson. Yes, we picked up a lightweight attack munitions. That's basically just a grenade blow-up-y device that you can also set uh, same as gas grenades, like a proximity device. Uh, we picked up another lock pick, and that data cube over there just has the same uh, security information that we got in that little bunker. So there's a laser trip wire here uh, guarding the. Uh, where I'm assuming there's important stuff back there, and maybe even the agent that we're looking for, right? Because why else would they be? Well, they have the security stuff. You can bypass tripwires like that with multi-tools, but I want to uh, 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 save my multi-tools. Use them when I really need them. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We'll do we'll take Jacobson's advice and uh, infiltrate from the back. I have plenty of experience. Infiltrating from the back, by the way, if you were wondering. I love infiltrating. So many... Ah, uh, come on. So many people use that ATM each day that it's busted 90% of the time. Fucking mouse. I, I took my hand off the mouse. I want y'all to know that. That, it just fucking moved on its own. My hand wasn't even touching it. I don't know why data cubes work this way. Why can't it just be a, a file or something that you can read in a menu that doesn't damned disappear? Okay. Don't let the tourists get you down. Oh, sorry, but if 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 the the ATM's working, you might need some cash today for the pub crawl we've got planned in the city. Don't let the tourists get you down. See you there tonight, sweetie. Account number 230023, pin number 4558. Jonathan, your husband, a BPS. I was serious last night. I really want to get married in the statue we met there on duty and all our friends work there. I, I was in the military, so I know about marriages like that. And uh, it's not going to last. Probably. I mean, I'm happy for them, but, uh, 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 you know, I don't think they're going to be having a great time later. Okay, before I start lockpicking, I'm going to put down a quick save. I want to save as many lockpicks and multi-tools as I can, but the thing about that is that... Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta use it. Sometimes you got to use that stuff. No way around it. Fucking... Why in the world would... This guy's, uh... Patrol route doesn't make a whole lot of damn sense to me. I'm gonna hang out in front of the window, and, uh... When I stop, I'm going to fucking stare at the wall. Sure, guy. Go right ahead. 
Okay, I don't know how I got away with that, but I'm fucking ecstatic that I did. <laughs> Just toss this fucker over here. Okay. Now we can deal with this moron. Wait till I hear him walking again. That's walking, not Joaquin. I don't know why he would be Joaquin. Maybe he's Joaquin. I can't see his face. He could be a Joaquin. Uh, yeah, drop the knife. We're keeping the soy food, though. And, uh, we did pick up this also. PS20, it's like a one-shot experimental plasma weapon. Is someone there? Okay, somebody fucking heard me drop that knife. That's ridiculous. What the fuck? Come on. Fuck you! Fuck you, he heard that shit and sounded the alarm. My ass. Fuck that goddamn fucking nonsense. I shit and fucking hate it when that goddamn shit happens. Motherfucker. I swear to fuck Christ. That's him. He's okay, crap. what? Why? 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 We are now experiencing jank. Welcome to jank. Do you like jank? I'm not a huge fucking fan of it, but... Here we are. With jank. Hit him from behind and fucking knock him out, please. Damn. Quick save, for fuck's sake. Sorry for all my language, but holy shit, this... The way shit works in this game sometimes just frustrates me. The stealth is fun when it's working. And it's not a lot of fun when it decides to just fucking be weird. Ooh. Oh, I heard something. What? It was a guy from beyond the laser tripwire, as far as I could tell. Maybe it was the guy in that room over there, but, th like... Why would he have any reason to think that a noise he heard is a thing that needs to be in fuck investigated? Because to his knowledge, everybody in this room is still conscious, right? That's how it should work. Fuck. Throw a quick save down in case some fuck is looking right through this door when I want to walk by it. Every shit and thing I have to deal with. Thanks for the info, Jacobson. I'm sure I didn't need it. Alright, this seems like another great spot to put a, a quick save down. I could use a, a multi-tool on the camera to disable it, but there you go. That's why we quick save, because it doesn't fucking work 90 fucking percent of the time. You got to get up on the guy and make sure it's red or it ain't going to do it. I know I heard something. Okay. That's fine. I guess we can just do it that way. Break his chair, then knock him out. All right, throw down another quick save. Let the camera turn that way. We'll duck down behind the desk here, and then we'll finally be able to get into the damn security terminal on the wall. Use the, uh, the codes we picked up earlier to get into it. We could hack if we didn't find those, but they're all over the place, so. Turn that camera off. We 
can unlock the door to her to Agent Herman's uh, cell. And now that we've done that, we can f have a fucking proper look around. Accuracy weapon mod, that's nice. Alright. Let us, uh, let's talk to Herman. Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in. But for no reasons, I said pull back. I do not retreat. Please give me a weapon and move out of the way. As you wish. Take my pistol. That will be adequate. I will secure this level. You proceed up the stairs to the command center at the top. Okay, so this is another jank situation where... That's weird. Herman, why didn't you just break yourself out? There's a fucking brick that works the door. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's some jank here. Herman says that he's gonna clear this level or secure it, but as far as I know, that doesn't happen. You still have to sneak your way back out of here to the upper levels. Let's have a uh, read of this newspaper. Normally, in games that have, like, all these books and, you know, newspapers and shit like that, you can read flavor text. I don't bother, because a lot of the time it's, it seems pointless. But... And Deus Ex, there's act like I I enjoy it. I think it adds a lot to the world. And there's actually like some of them sort of foreshadow like events that are coming up, or or give you clues as to to the larger uh, to the bigger picture. So we can um, we'll stop and read all of these and try and be quick about it. A lesson for our president, Family News Network, Dave Wary, editorial. When the other kids on my block. Elected me king of the world, a political office opened thankfully only to eight-year-olds. I moved quickly to consolidate my power. I declared that all subsequent elections were forbidden, that the office of king was reserved to me and my descendants for all eternity. I don't remember what morsels of political philosophy were hurled at me. That ain't fair, perhaps, or you can't do that. My rebuttal? Yes, I can. I'm king. All subsequent debate involved rocks. Even Gretchen, green-eyed, lovely Gretchen, held me pinned to the ground as the others asserted that, or sorry, asserted their own right to the throne with whatever stones happened to be within easy reach. With a 35% approval rating after the UN funding fiasco, President Meade should reflect that these children and millions of other free thinkers have reached voting age. Who wants to cast the first stone? Well, I don't know, but uh, I do know that the creators of Deus Ex got one fucking thing wrong. There's definitely not going to be anybody named Gretchen in 2052. Unless it's like a boy named Sue situation. So... We've broken Herman out. Let us sneak back out the way we came. We'll we'll have a look around the um, the the ground floor out here and see if he if he secured it or not. I'm gonna guess he didn't. I'm gonna guess he just ran out the door and disappeared. We'll throw down a quick save while I'm thinking about it. I'm basically just gonna quick save. Hey, he did. He killed these guys. Well, ain't that just something? I guess I'm not too close to that camera, because it ain't seeing me. Alright, give it a...
it a second to sweep back. Shit! Every fucking time! I thought I gave it enough fucking time. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to time these goddamn fucking cameras. I mean, I swear to shit, it's every fucking time. The nice thing about the cameras... I guess they knew that that was a problem when they made the game. So they went ahead and said, well, you get like three or five or what, I don't know how many seconds to disappear before it actually starts raising an alarm. So I'm thankful for that, I guess. Now we can make our way back up the statue. There's a little area over there with some stairs. That we will now use to ascend. Hopefully find the command center that we were told about. There has re-established contact. He says you helped him escape. Good work. Thanks. I thought I did pretty good myself. I don't need to interrogate him, Jacobson. I can tell you exactly why you can't find that Ambrosia. They got it to the mainland already. We've heard them talk about it a few times now. Let's get out of here. I'm standing my ground. They sprung Herman. We don't stand a chance against a mech. This is it, Private. We knew it might come to this. What good are we to the NSF if we end up dead? If you not go <laughs> reach the perimeter. Then it's already too late. Get ready to fight. I like the way he says that line. What good are we to the NSF if we end up dead? Mer. Mer. All right. <clears throat> Shut up, terrorist. Can do, Jacobson. Can do. Don't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. That's a mighty big claim. Sick. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. Hot knife through butter. That's a weird thing to say, guy. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. Do you have a single fact to back that up? Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two, in 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. Good work, agent. Now I want to hear more. I guarantee you that the interrogation staff at UNACO will not be as forbearing as I am. Yeah, the secret police. You're just bullies for a completely illegitimate government in Washington. We will locate that shipment one way or another. The entire executive branch is handpicked. Nineteen of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Don't tell me. That's a think tank. Anyone can become a member. But not everyone does. That's why they call it the secret government. Oh-ho! Based. 
Gold-based Leo Gold. I I realized uh, uh, a minute ago that I I um I forgot to bring up this image when Harley Philbin gave it to us. He gave us a picture of Leo Gold, so we would we wouldn't kill him. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's your picture. But we got a little info down here that's actually kind of cool. Leo Gold, NSF rank colonel. Uh, they suspect he resides in Hell's Kitchen, and he's in frequent contact with Jojo Fine, who we did hear about earlier already. That guy was talking about Jojo with the tattoos on his face and all that. Uh, he's also in contact with someone named Juan Ivanovich Lebedev and other sympathizers. So, just make a note of that. You can't fight ideas with bullets. Did you ever ask what it's for? The surveillance? the police, the shoot on sight laws, is that freedom? Your NATCO teaches teenagers to fight when it still seems like a game. And look at you. You're a killing machine. Who's the scary one, huh? Me or you? Good work, Agent. The more of us you kill, the more that secessionism lives in the hearts of the people. Secessionism? Ever wonder why big car companies pay 2% tax while the guys on the assembly line pay 40? I did used to wonder that when I worked at GM. Corporations are so big you don't even know who you're working for. That's terror. Terror built into the system. Corporations are so big you don't even know who you're working for. Is this guy just saying good work because because I've because I've so thoroughly interrogating the the terrorist? I don't know. Uh, we have an augmentation canister here. It's just kind of sitting there, and you could easily just not pick that up. You could think it's just a thing, or I don't know. But they're pretty important, and you want to grab them when you find them, because uh, once we find a med bot to install it, we'll be able to augment ourselves with either microfibril muscle or increased combat strength. So that'll be good, probably. But uh guy away for a long time. I know, you've told me like nine times. But that's the mission. We've we've taken down the NSF operations at Liberty Island. We've restored Liberty Island. Relinquished control back to UNATCO. We've ousted the terrorists and we figured out a little bit of information about where they might be going next. So, we're gonna stop it here uh, and we'll pick it back up in the next one with our current objective which is just to go back to headquarters for a debriefing. So, in the next uh, episode, you'll get to see UNAT co-executives take my underwear. Until then, uh, I've been Foggy Senor. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao now.